Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created and tested signup user API call in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will create shared module in our Angular application. And after this, we will create navigation bar. And at the end, we will create signup component with routing. So let's get started. So in our angular application, first of all, we need to create a file to import all the components from our UI library. And to do this, we will right click on our app folder and I will click on paste. And as you can see, I pasted a file with the name of demo ng0 at module.ts. And in this file, we have the imports of all modules of the UI components of ng0. And after this, we are exporting those all modules as well. And for an example, we have NC button module used for the buttons. And now we need to create a shared module. And to do this, we will right click on our app folder and we will choose a new folder and we will name this folder as modules. And after this, we will right click on our modules folder and we will open this in integrated terminal. And in this terminal, we need to write the command to create the shared module, which is ng g for generate. And after this, we will write m for module. And after this, we will name this module as shared. And as you can see, our shared module is ready. Now let's open this module folder and then we will open shared.module.ts. And in this module, we will add the imports for the all required modules in our components. And to do this in the imports array after the common module, we will import forms module. And after the forms module, we will import reactive forms module. And after the reactive forms module, we will import router outlet. And after router outlet, we will add the import of router link. And at the end, we will add the import for demo ng0 and module. And after this, we will create exports array as well. And in this exports array, we will mention same modules. And after this, we will click on quick fix and we will add all missing imports. And then we will save this file. And with this, our shared module is ready. Now we can use this module in the components of our application. And after this, we need to create the navigation bar for the application. And to do this, we will open app.component.ts. And in this component, first of all, we need to import our shared module. So in the imports array, we will write shared module. And after this, we will import this from our shared folder. And after this, we will save this file and we will open app.component.html. And in this file, we will remove existing code and we will create ng header tag. And after this, we will give it a class of main header. And then in the style, we will give a background color. And after this, in this ng header, we will create a div. And after this, in this div tag, we will create an a tag. And for the text, we will write quiz app. And after this, in this a tag, we will add a router link and we will redirect the user to slash login route. And after this, we will come out from this div and we will create another div with the class of nav links. And in this div, we will create an a tag. And after this, for the ng type, we will give link. And for the text, we will write sign up. And after this, we will write router link and we will redirect the user to slash register route. And after this, we will create another a tag. And in this for the text, we will write login and we will redirect the user to slash login route. And with this, our navigation bar is completed for the non logged in users. Now let's save this file and let's open app.component.scss. And in this file, I will paste the CSS code and you can pause the video and you can copy this CSS. Now let's save this file and let's run our application. And as you can see, our application is up without any errors. Now let's go to the browser. And as you can see in the browser, we got our navigation bar. And on the left hand side of navigation bar, we got the text quiz app. And after this, on the right hand side, we got two buttons, sign up and login. 
and now let's go back to our angular application and let's create sign up component and in our angular application to create the sign up component we will right click on our modules folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as auth and after this we will right click on this auth folder and we will open this in integrity terminal and in this terminal we will write the command ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as sign up and as you can see our sign up component is ready now we need to create a route for this component and to do this we will open app.routes.ts and in this file in the routes array we will create a new object and in this object first of all we need to pass the path and we will give this as register and after this we need to pass the component and we will give this as sign up component and with this our routing is completed as well now let's save this file and as you can see our application got compiled without any errors now let's go to the browser and in the browser we will click on this sign up button and as you can see we got redirected to our register route and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create sign up reactive form and after this we will design our sign up page as well